Hello, and welcome to the podcast, a podcast where we talk life, work, and occasionally music. My name is Switchblades for Kids, and the other half of the podcast? My name is Blake Bentley. Hello. It was absolutely perfect. No, no fuck-ups. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not fucking around today. No, Fuck. not today. Because <laughs> today, <laughs> we, we've got an absolutely spectacular episode. Yeah. It's special. It's one of a kind, in fact. Um, Every episode we, is, but you know. It, it, it's always one of a kind. But we have uh, a special guest interview that we'll be sharing uh, later in the show. Yeah. Um, and, and, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I, I wasn't there we'll for it, unfortunately. It. But no, I'm excited to hear it. It's fine. It's, um, <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun because it was just me rolling solo and I was very nervous. But it doesn't show at all. <laughs> yeah, because there's like no reason, right? There's no reason, really. I was this freaking our, out, man. This, but this is our podcast. Who gives a yeah. fuck? Like, if, if yeah. it's a shit interview, who cares? It's our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a great interview, also who cares? It's our, great. It's our podcast. Yeah, it's our podcast. That's right. It's, it, it's ours, and fuck you. <laughs> all right? <laughs> <laughs> in saying that, um, in saying that, another extra special thing that we do have with this podcast is now our voicemail system where you guys yes. can leave messages for us, leave memes for us, or leave a suggestion for the album of the week. So make sure that you check uh, in the description for the number that you can call. Uh, leave a voicemail and uh, let us know what you're thinking. Let us uh, yeah. give us a message, give us some dumb shit. We, we love it all. We'll, um, we'll be we listening be, to we'll be listening to them this episode. It, yeah, this episode right at the end of it, we'll uh, we'll read through all the messages. This will be the first time that we're both hearing them, so yeah. uh, you'll get the absolute rawest, rawest reactions. Yeah, I look, I'm both excited and dead set worried. <laughs> I'm real scared. <laughs> I know about, about not being able to air. What yeah. they say. <laughs> so I, I really do fear that it's just going to be like dead air for someone because, and yeah. we're just going to have to fill it in with like something else. Like, we couldn't play do, this do, do, because do, it's do, not, do, do, not TOS do, do, friendly. Yeah, just that. We, actually, you know what? I'll <laughs> find that, that audio and yep. that will play instead of what was the voicemail if I can't if it has to be censored that's yep. the censor music yep. so you'll know straight away that's the censor music if we couldn't play it but um before we get into all that Blake how you yeah. doing um I'm look we're recording a day later um because this is it, our was podcast. A, it was a really long weekend <laughs> yeah this is our podcast <laughs> um but I'm gonna I'm gonna be quick about it just because we got a lot to get through this episode we've actually yes. got we can't fluff about we can't, so can't be faffing I, about I'm exhausted I'm very tired I um I've had no sleep since like Thursday night Wednesday night something like that mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. just kids man kids not sleeping but the main reason that I'm so exhausted um, is because I I woke up super early on Sunday morning. We yeah. all woke up, and you know what the best thing? This is the absolute this the creme de la creme, right? Is Arlo waking up all night, tossing about, keeping us awake, mm -hmm. and then Jackie and I waking up at five thirty and getting up and like looking at the children sleeping and just smiling. Wake up! <laughs> wake up! Wake up! Get up! Wake up! <laughs> And just <laughs> get out of bed now! <laughs> shaking them violently. Um, no. <laughs> no, we did wake them up. We did wake them up. Um, because I had to drive, well, I drove in because I like, I woke up good. I tell you yep. what, for having like two to three hours sleep, and mm -hmm. then the night before having like four hours sleep, and then the night yep. before having like three hours sleep, on that Sunday morning, it's mm -hmm. like all everything just aligned and I, like I was focused and I was awake and I was good and I was like sick. Everyone get up, let's get ready. Wake everyone up. Arlo, no, I don't no, want to be no. awake. <laughs> don't fucking touch me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Harper, super excited because she had a surprise. It's the end of school holidays and we're doing something special. I didn't pay oh, for that. it. My parents paid for it. But <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> but, yeah, bonus. Um, in the car at 5.30 and off we go. So yep. they went to see Disney on Ice. Harper and, and Jackie went to go see Disney on Ice. So they went yep. to go see some people in costumes, dance around, sing some songs, skate on some ice. Super Mickey fun. on Ice. Yeah. Mickey Mouse. Whee. Super super duper fun, right? Yeah. Um, Arlo and I, we just struggled. <laughs> we just <laughs> we went to the shops because I had to finish a little bit of wedding um, outfit shopping, right? Yep. I just needed a black shirt and some brown shoes and I got both for $35. Where'd you go? Um, Rivers? Fuck no, up. I just, I went to every store that sold shoes. Um, it's the Brown Stains Plaza. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. And I picked up some clearanced discontinued shoes. 
brilliant. Love it because I'm yeah. only going to wear it yeah. once. Um, That's right. And then I got a black shirt from Target. <laughs> there you go. That That's done. a fit. Yeah, that's a fit. That, that was a everything for this uh, wedding outfit, and mm-hmm. you know what? When I I will I will put up photos of it on my socials, right? Okay. Of this outfit because it's lit. It's a good outfit. <laughs> the last thing I need is I, I want to spend a lot of money because I we budgeted four hundred dollars for this, right? Yeah. And I spent less than a hundred on mine, and Jackie has only spent about eighty on hers so far. So okay. I want to go get a really expensive cowboy hat. I want a cowboy hat. To wear to a dude, like a, like an actual like a Cobra yeah, sort want, of like I a, want a like proper like a, a half decent at least yeah, yeah at yeah. least half decent you know you know hat. they're like they're pretty hundreds. expensive <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is why I'm saying half decent because I'm yeah. thinking like uh, not hundreds yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe maybe not a proper cowboy hat but just yeah. a, just some form of cowboy esque looking hat can can I ask real quick what color would you go for like a dark well, brown have, a tan or a black I have a fair, like a mid brown coat, right? Mm -hmm. And white plaid pants, dark brown shoes, black shirt, red tie, right? A light tan? (laughs) I'm thinking tan, right? I'm thinking tan to brown. And the funny thing is, is because like all of these boys are from, this is Bunnings, this is a Bunnings wedding. So they're all like the Bunnings boys and all that. And like none of us were ever country. And I've moved to the country now. So I want to go on with a cowboy hat. (laughs) Yes, bro. Look, oh yeah, I really adopted it out here. Yeah, you know, I I took living in the country pretty seriously. I had a partner. I want to. I want to go hard with it, but you um, fellers selling whiskey, yeah. <laughs> whiskey. Mm. It's a uh, white hot out here. Um, yeah. But yeah, so it was. It was just really. I was very tired. I'm still very tired. Yep. We did some shopping, and um, oh, final thing. This is just. This is. I need to share this. So oh, if okay. anyone listening is a Browns Plains local. Or if they have another place that does this, there's a frozen yogurt place at Brown's Plains. Okay. Right? And you know frozen yogurt, you get it's like it's like basically like ice cream, right? You just yes. get the big cardboard thing and you fill it with absolutely to the brim. Yeah, and, you get and then you fucking throw weighed, a whole bunch of weighed yeah. by the fucking kilogram or the gram or whatever it is. Yeah. And this place you can guess, and if you guess correctly, I just saw that move. <laughs> it's like what the He's f- lying on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Freaking dog's lying. <laughs> <laughs> get off, Winnie, 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 get off, get off the. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. I'll I love that me. dog. I love Winston. Um, yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good dog. Good dog. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, this frozen yogurt place. Essentially, they put it on and they cover the scale number and they say, yep. would you like to guess? And if you guess correctly, you get yeah. it free. Okay. And I was like, okay, well, we put Arlo's on. She goes, it's in the hundreds. So they, you get you get a, the first number. So you only need to guess the last two digits. Last two digits, right? yeah. You've got 99 yeah. numbers to choose from. Yeah. yeah, and I looked at Arlo and I was like, what do you reckon? 20, 30, 60? It's like 60's yeah. too much. Go 30, 30. 130, please. And she removes her hand and it says 130. It fucking rings a bell. Let's go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> so I uh, so fucking about- slap the yogurt. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> so um, I saved us about four dollars, but it was the yeah, best yeah. win of my entire life. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And you know why? Because it was a. R- it's been such a rough weekend yep. right it is yep. just it is uh, tiring and no sleep and kids crying and not sleeping and all the sorts of stuff and yep. I, I don't know what it was but the fact that I had won a free frozen yogurt for Arlo just made everything okay it made yep. everything okay and I was like this is the best I love it I love it <laughs> That's and, then, and I got to put my name on a board and they put the board up there I was like this is fucking awesome how many yep. people are on the board it was a was lot it? of people. Oh, 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 oh that's I'm still cool it. though. Yeah, I know, right? And then I guess mine, I was three grams off of oh. mine. I guess I was like, we'll just do double. It's in the 200s. We'll say 260, 257 grams. Oh. I know. That's just like a, like, that was, that's like a, a, a blink of, you know, like of mm. pour, pouring more fucking frozen yogurt in. That was that's just it. A, 100%. Okay, that's enough now. Oop, there's, there, there it is. Yeah, yep. that's right. Yeah, that's it was nuts, a so. moment that I missed by. So, yeah, wild shit. I was like, that's still cool. Best, that's fucking the best close. thing ever. Yeah, Did you free so frozen yogurt? When when you're like weighing it, do you get to like pick it up and then put it back on the scale, or do you just go like? No, no, mm. no. Because this is the other wild thing. So you fill it, 
And then yeah. if you want toppings, you give it to them, they fill it with toppings and they just fill how much you'd want. And then because you just pay for the weight. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, Arlo, what would you like? That topping? Okay. Oh, maybe just a little bit of that one. Yeah, it's mm. a little bit more. Mm. Yeah, mm. Get some sprinkles. Yep, sprinkles. Uh, maybe a little bit more sprinkles. So <laughs> I couldn't tell you how much it was. You know what I mean? Even yeah, if I yeah. weighed it, it's a proper beforehand, guess. I'm yeah. like, couldn't tell you what it would have been because they put the topping amounts on. Yep. So you can't, you, it's not like you get to control the amount. Yeah. yeah they yeah. just put the amount in there. And it could That's have been excellent. within one gram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't bad. That's ridiculous. That ain't fucking bad, man. That's good. So, That's really that good. That was that was my week in a nutshell. Uh, no yeah. sleep, but all worth it because I got free frozen yogurt. Well, there you go. That's a fucking big win, man. Mm. How was your week? Excellent. My week, um, I honestly can't remember a lot of it. No. <laughs> for some reason. Uh, all, all last week, you know, I, I'm certain there were things that happened. I, I usually like to write down sort of, you know, specific things that do happen. One one sort of silly thing that does happen, or not silly, but something that did happen at work is we got a whole heap of new uh, Bushmasters. I'm the only one that's currently there that's called to drive them at the moment. So we're just... No. So I'm they're your Bushmasters. <laughs> they're mine. I'm going to have them. No. Yeah. <laughs> so they're legally, because one, you bench more than everyone and you're the only one allowed to drive them. So they're yours. They're right? mine. Right. So, yeah. uh, you know, it was pretty much just me backing them in and out and, um, and you know, doing a lot of the work on it. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, you got to do my mechanic trade once again, but it was in the yeah, minor nice. sort of context of like, oh, yeah, cool, I'm just changing hub oils and jacking it up and, uh, you know, all the, all the random like light uh, vehicle mechanic sort of stuff. Yeah. So that's what I was doing last week, um, changing a lot of tires, just doing a lot of work stuff. Um, but Kim has been doing a lot of her uni stuff and she's like... Um, this well, the starting the start of it is this week. So this week and then onwards, mm. we she has like a lot of time spent in either classrooms or online learning, nice. and uh, this is the, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Her mum has said, um, "Well, why don't you? Uh, t- I'll take all of the kids on. You know, the uh, I think it was Monday night, Monday night, and and then they'll sleep over." And then you get them back on Tuesday afternoon after your, your second class is done, and then you've got all week to have them again, and then Monday night again, once again. So it's, it's like, oh, so they're just gone Monday night. Every, every Monday night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. And I'm really that, happy about that. It's, yeah, it's so that cool. sounds, as much as we love our children, I having love one night a week of them not home, oh yeah. my God, that is and it's, like... It's probably not going to be every Monday night. And, you no. know, it's a thing I've taken a chance of whenever it does happen. It's it's like, oh, well, we, we did it tonight. We went out and had dinner and then we got mm. some donuts on the way home and we had a, we got a coffee and then we watched the rest of the last uh, installment of uh, The Hobbit. The oh, okay. Battle of yeah, the Five yeah, yeah. Armies. So we, we yeah, finished yeah. watching that and it was a really nice. sad ending. And then we're like, oh, it ties right into the start of the the Lord of the Rings Which is and we're like we're watching oh. next <laughs> well, well we already so that's the thing is we already watched Lord of the Rings and oh, then we okay. watched The Hobbit and now we're like what do we do now but um there's we'll, we'll figure that out watch, dude. there's I so know. much out there to watch I know honestly there's I know lot. trust me I fucking <laughs> <There's a lot>. know <laughs> but um so so yeah that's that's uh that's that's pretty much what's been going on in my life today was a pretty funny day because it was it felt like such a short day we've got a lot of people that are out on exercise at the moment mm. and the the entire brigade or the entire fucking barracks is quite empty. Mm. Like it's it's very easy to drive around because there's so few cars. There's always a park somewhere, and yeah, nice. it, and it's it's great. Um, what also comes with that is um, when there's so few people at a regiment, which is what I'm at. Everyone sort of gets consolidated, and then it's it's like okay, cool, we're all going to do PT together, and then that that's fine, and then we all spear off, and then it's like oh, cool, we've got like five people in the workshop so all day all day i was in control of the music for the morning for the morning i had a a high quality taste uh it was just creed um (laughs) that's right (laughs) just just creed um can you take me (laughs) with arms wide open So like, good. I swear to God, it was like I love it, all dude. morning. It was like um, just that, and there was there was a couple of songs that would just like repeat because it was just the radio of mm-hmm. like Creed. Right, lunchtime came around, we had lunch, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna play next. 
just Nickelback. It's just going to be Nickelback for the rest of the afternoon. Um, that was the only time when people sort of got upset. <laughs> but it didn't stop. No, no. Because no. <laughs> some people were like, oh, yeah, I remember this song. And they're just like, Whoa, oh, man, did they really say all that? <laughs> That's <laughs> but, so good. Yeah. That was, um, yeah, that was my day today. It was good. Um, and, and it just it flowed straight into a great night. And, and oh, fuck, I can't remember what we're doing after this. I think we're doing something after this as well. Because Kim, yeah. Kim is like, I don't have to wake up early tomorrow and no kid is going to wake me up early tomorrow. So I'm going to stay up late, do all of her uni study. And mm. then she gets to sleep in in the morning. Meanwhile, I'll be waking up at five, going <laughs> yeah, to work. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Hey, but you know what? No kids though. No so kids waking up at five is so easy when you It's going to be so much easier. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you, you really so take easy. for granted the fact that you get a just an uninterrupted night's sleep with yeah. your children around. Oh, because I had I had that was it last week? Maybe the week mm. before. I think I'm oh, that, last week. that Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, the Wednesday, but yeah. I, I mean, I did end up with fucking food poisoning, but <laughs> it was food poisoning with no children at home. So nice, <laughs> so easy. Yeah, because I was Very just like, oh, I feel really unwell, well, and I'm just gonna go on the bathroom and either shit or vomit up everything. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't going down to sit on. And as soon as I get in the toilet, Dad, I need to use the toilet. It's like, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, can you hold it? No, Dad, I'm about to pee my pants. <laughs> <laughs> like. Let me just get the rest of this out. (laughs) All right, then. Can you hold on for five seconds? Oh, man. (laughs) You know, it's... It just sucks. It sucks being sick with at home with kids. It sucks being tired at home with kids. I love my children more than anything in the entire world. Truly. Same. I need a break every now and then. Exactly. Everyone (laughs) everyone needs a break from their kids every now and then, especially when it's... It's been years since, and, you know, everyone takes takes the first couple of years it's like oh yeah cool well this isn't this isn't that bad mm. and then it gets to like a, i don't know that third third year fourth year wherever it is where they just don't want to fucking sleep and they just want <sighs> you know what i'm just gonna i'm not gonna rant about kids but no no because we'll, we'll, we'll be here for good. the next hour and we, we can't be because we've got we we've got an interview to go to. we've got an interview to go guys if you've already left um <laughs> come back <laughs> It's like, oh my Please. god, they're fucking. It's, it's, it's this. Oh my god, they're fucking ranting about kids again. Fuck me. <laughs> no, it's fine. Quite Come back. If everything's fine. All right. What we're going to go into now is uh, an interview that we uh, conducted uh, well, with. Uh, I wasn't here, but the the man that. Well, yeah, it was. It was just me. It was a solo interview. Thank. It, it was just. It was just me. Yeah, yeah that's but, okay. But next time we do have, I reckon I can get him. There's another dude I want to get as well for mm. next weekend. We might have a back-to-back interview episode. Ooh, we just might. Special. Um, the interview that we're going to be going into now was uh, conducted with me and uh, another Zach, spelled exactly the same. Z A double K. I can't. That's believe right. It. Find me on Facebook. Bet you can't. It's very <laughs> easy. It is so <laughs> easy. <laughs> yeah, we should probably fix that. <laughs> I know I need to change names. Um, uh, yeah, his name's Zach, also known as Wizard Hat. W-Z-R-D-H-47. You can find him just about everywhere. Trust me, there'll be links in the description. Um, yeah. And I know 100% him and his friends are listening to this right now. Zach, top fucking cunt. He's a legend. And, he sounds like uh, a cool guy. 100%. I've, and, I've listened through some of this interview. He sounds, I mean, no, I haven't because yeah. we're about to go to it live. Oh, well, it's live right now. We're, <laughs> we're all listening to it at the same time. Yeah, we're all listening to it for the first time together here. Even Zach, <laughs> who already conducted the interview. That's right. It's the first time you're listening to it. And um, Zach, who was interviewed by Zach. <laughs> That's right, Zach and Zach, together at last, in the same yeah, finally. Uh, Discord chat. It's been a um, long time coming, but here it is. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's go into it. You know what we're going to do? We're actually going to uh, trade little swag packs as well. He's, he's like, I got Ooh. I got America stuff or like merch from his stuff. And I was nice. like, I've got Vegemite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like Vegemite and uh, have a couple red backs. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> yeah. that's Australian. You guys, you guys like jelly beans? <laughs> <laughs> you guys like... Um, Fuck, oh, jeez. Um, I'll send a meat pie. <laughs> we ain't got much to offer here. Uh, I'll send, you know, you know what's the, the classic, like, export is Foster's. You yeah. send a can of Foster's, but no one fucking drinks no Foster's drinks in it. Australia. Ow, I if just, I can, if I 100% can, and I don't know if I can, is I'm going to try and send an emu export, which is, like, our beer. Em, emu have export. Had, have had it's emu export. Delicious. It's not that bad, actually. Yeah, it's, it's it's a better VB. Foster's, yeah, Foster's not ideal, but like yeah. Emu Export, yeah, yeah. it's great. 
Um, without further ado, uh, here's the interview with me and Wizard Hat. I already got myself refreshment and everything, so I'm ready to go. Boom. Easy. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the interview, the first interview that we're going to be running with uh, Wizard Hat, a.k.a. Zach, um, th the man behind a whole heap of hit songs. Um, oh, got... <laughs> uh, I don't know about this. I don't know I, about that. Bro, that, that oh, is it called Night, Night Crawl, Nightshade or something like that? I can't remember, the, like it's Night something, that thing that you made. Um, oh, uh, Nightlight, the track I yeah, just dropped. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some, some housey, groovy, new disco Dude, type vibes. Absolute bop. A hundred percent big Thank hit. you. I appreciate yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> that that one, um, that was actually a collab with um he's he he's pretty much involved in everything I do. He's like kind of like a business partner, best friend, all rolled into one. Um he goes by juvenile stacks. Um a lot of tracks that I have made. Um he he's a very talented vocalist. He's um he's lent a lot of backing vocals. Um one of my one of my sort of first singles that I dropped, uh, my, a track called I Wanna. Um, he mm -hmm. sings the hook on it. He sings the first verse. He he goes hard. He's a very talented dude. But yeah, he, he's my best bud. Yeah, man. Oh, that's sick. That's awesome. Um, it's not just music either. You're into like art, fashion. Like I've, I've seen some of your like op shop posts and stuff like that where you'll just go no, to like uh, Vinny's. Oh, it's yeah. not even Vinny's. It's like uh, Red Cross. It's not Red Cross. I can't remember. I don't know what you guys call it over there. Oh, uh, talking about Goodwill. Yeah, okay. Goodwill. Yeah. Uh, yes. I do get into, um, how could you put it? I am indeed a wizard of many hats. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no, I really... Um, the the sort of thrift and fashion thing is something that I've always been interested in and uh, sort of I, I don't I don't know even as like a young kid um, I'd catch myself reading magazines with like you know like music artists and stuff always checking out like yo they're like they're 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 dressed so cool yeah yeah um, but yeah no I I get into a lot of things I I produce music um all of my music and stuff that I produce I make all of my own marketing materials and uh art for my shirts and um uh, artwork for all the songs and stuff like that yeah. uh yeah I I definitely I get into a lot of things uh mm -hmm. kind of an artist in uh, many respects Oh yeah yeah it's 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 it is 100% wearing a lot of wizard hats I, I totally get that I, yeah, you know, um, I, I the way I think it is these days, especially in a sort of the independent sector of the mu music industry, you got to have a lot of different skills to sort of make it and get yourself noticed to to get by as Hell it were. Yeah. yeah. When do when do you think that you got like noticed and you're like, "Oh man, okay, cool. I'm I'm going to do this now." I, honestly, that's really hard to say. I, I can't really say. The best way I could put it is I, I still feel like I'm kind of uh, off in my own lane in a sort of more of an underground sector. Yeah. Um, but one of the first thing, like one of the first things that definitely made me feel like, yeah, I could go somewhere with this music stuff is um, uh, I would say like gigging with uh, my band that I used to play in, Izuna. And... Um, Probably as a like a producer and artist, um, I would say it was moment it was getting uh, my music played on our local radio station Kiss 105.3. Um, shouts to uh, DJ Virgil Boggs and Spider Crazy Eight and uh, <laughs> and all those folks up there. Those guys are awesome. That's sick. Yeah, hell yeah. Actually, that that brings it to a point that like when I got that uh when when I when you pulled out uh, Sepulchre of Wax. Bro, that that hits so hard. I fucking love that. And I showed that to my mates, and they're like, "Holy fuck, damn!" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." This guy, Wizard Hat Man, fucking check him out. <laughs> love, appreciate the love. That yeah, was a, that that absolutely was a was a passion project. Um, mm. It um, it was kind of music that I wrote like parallel to being um, in my band, Izuna. Um, mm -hmm. Which they the album that we recorded um, while I was in the band um, they they released it and you can go find it on streaming services um, it's it's really great music um, but I wrote the the music for Sepulchre of Wax in uh, like while I was in the band just kind of 
I was just kind of like trying to feel out the 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 process of like writing music. Um, yeah. Kind of, you know, because I at that point I had recorded a little bit and had a little bit of experience, but I was really just trying to uh, find my voice and sort of get used to the process of writing and stuff. But uh, that definitely that that was a project that I did sort of just out of like just sheer need to just create and put out mm. some music um that it definitely came from like a very like deep part of my soul for sure yeah hell yeah and it shows man it's it's a banger of a like a little ep i fucking love it yeah. um let me let me hit you with something a little bit maybe left field what in your words is pbcu and how did it start <laughs> oh man oh okay so uh pbcu um pbcu is an acronym uh for fuck bang cinematic universe okay uh so the fuck bang is a youtube um, uh food mukbang like food channel yeah and yep. uh they're we we just kind of so, me, it's it's a project that started. Um, Zell, uh, my best bud and business partner, mm. um, aka Juvenile Stacks, um, he he started uh, making, or he, he really got the idea to start making food content um, with his uh, cousin Elijah, who is also part of sort of the Tragedy Collective uh, umbrella of artists, and uh, so. Uh, this whole cinematic universe part of it is I guess I, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it because it's really uh, kind of there's a lot of stuff that's still in the works um, so but you we are now. really inspired everyone listen yeah. subscribe yeah, yeah. now subscribe now for sure <laughs> Uh, find Fuck Bang on YouTube, P H O C B A N G. Um, yeah. The name itself is kind of a a really tongue in cheek uh, pun. Um, Zell and Elijah, and by extension myself, in a lot of ways, we we have sort of a very uh, particular and goofy um, sense of humor. Yeah, 100%. and we to start <laughs> making mukbang content that was not. Oh, uh, I guess what I'm the words I'm looking for is a lot of mukbang content is very like polished. Mm. Um, they're in studios in front of green screens or in really nice, like, you know, they're, they're trying to be really clean, mm. uh, and stuff like that. And, um, they, they're, they're trying to appeal to a broad audience. We're basically just trying to make the opposite of that. We're, yeah. we want to make stuff that is cursed, uh, <laughs> terrible, low key, unsettling, um and uh yeah like i said without without uh spoiling too much we have a lot of uh cool projects planned for it and we just kind of want to make stuff that's really funny and uh we're we're inspired by um uh, what uh, what what the there were some really funny hilarious uh internet memes that we're fans of that inspired us and uh it's the filthy frank and pink I was guy gonna like, cooking say videos. Filthy frank bro a hundred percent it's like you're the filthy so, frank uh, of like mug bangs, the videos <laughs> oh and and uh, so the video where it's filthy frank and max mofo yeah and, uh, and i dubs yeah and they make like the hair cake yeah bro they like, they like cook a rat that's like uh <laughs> that's that's like uh <laughs> it's crazy man <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, we that's kind of the stuff that uh Fuck Bang is really inspired by and we just kind of want to make really goofy cursed uh internet food content and uh yeah, so that that's definitely a, a another project a, a a passion project that is um something it, it's just kind of an uh an outlet for us to just be weird and goofy and uh free ourselves from judging ourselves i guess yeah yeah exactly no i fucking dig it man that's it's yeah, so cool I, I love it man i can't wait for the for some of the funny stuff that we have in the works to come out it's gonna yeah. be fun hell yeah you heard it here first guys fucking subscribe now oh yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely definitely it's heard it here first coming up <laughs> right from the horse to the mouth <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, man. I actually see that you, you're like you're posting like almost every day on Instagram. You're doing you're doing a lot of work, and man, especially you're pushing that through uh, to YouTube as well, TikTok. It's great. Yes, uh, you kind of gotta, especially um, as a independent creator, you kind of gotta hit on as many as many levels as you can, as many, uh, you know, different social media platforms. Um, and and as, as much as it's trying to post often to get the content out there, it's also like, like a good, a good way I could put it is, uh, doing the fuck bang stuff. Uh, and the PBCU content is basically like, I, me being a musician, I don't work on music every day necessarily. Like I don't sit in the studio after work, you know, seven days a week as much as I really should and uh, would love to. Trust me, uh, I know that feel. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's uh, a lot of the different um, avenues and content that I've been putting out lately is a way for me to stay busy as a creative without burning out doing just music all the time or yeah. just doing Twitch all the time. Um, and I guess, I guess I kind of always saw myself like as much as I love to produce and make music and stuff, I kind of always saw myself being like a, like a YouTube YouTuber and internet, uh, sort of creative, um, especially like back in the early days of YouTube. Um, I remember seeing videos by like the, the, the people from like Smosh or mm. like, like early college humor stuff and just being like, man, we, me and my friends could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. we could do that. And so, um, a lot of, a lot of the stuff that's happening now, uh, with like me making just goofy TikToks every day and, uh, us making the, uh, food related content. It's, it's really stuff that's been, uh, in the works for a long time. Um, yeah, for sure. It's yeah. it's all sort of uh, stuff that has been brewing uh, in the in the pot for a minute. Yeah, and it all helps you, though. It's like you you keep pushing out stuff, and it's it's all that accumulative sort of effect where you'll get you'll get getting uh, you'll keep getting like more and more. It's 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 definitely the domino effect sort of stuff. And and I I absolutely agree with you. Um, that's that's sort of. Uh, that was really my strategy with doing more of the different content is to be able to have something different to post every day. So I don't, so, so I feel like having something to do every day and also, so I don't burn out of all the different stuff that I'm into. Yeah. Um, yeah. like just last night I was working on some, some graphic designs, uh, for upcoming, uh, tragedy collective merch and stuff like that. Damn. Uh, Hell yeah. Just a couple days ago, I was streaming on Twitch, playing some Fortnite. Hey, we got to squad up together. Oh, Play right. <laughs> I'm playing Battle Bit at the moment, man. Maybe, I'm stuck. Maybe not, Fortnite, <laughs> maybe not Fortnite, but something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm down. At each other on Steam or... I know, yeah, for I know sure. we got to play online together. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, me and Blake are on... on Jeez, almost every night, like, just either talking shit, we'll be making music. Oh, yeah. Editing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, I'm fucking sick of this. Let's play some video games, man. It's like, just oh yeah, <laughs> trust me, trust me. AOL raised me. Look, look, this, this says it all right here. AOL is my daddy. Little oh, AOL. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> sick. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, I uh, more more of my uh, internet uh, internet fashion interest. Yeah, um, man. check out. What what is uh, I think they're called came up in the drought. They make really cool um, like Y two K internet culture inspired stuff. Like this this bracelet has uh, the little Microsoft Clippy guy. Yeah, it's got uh, the AOL Running Man. Um, it's got the Napster Kitty on it and the Internet Explorer logo. <laughs> God damn! All right, that, that's a, I like that. I'm gonna dig it. Internet uh, Internet Explorer uh, is my grandfather. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, let me hit you with uh, a couple of quick ones because I don't want to. I don't want to use up all of your time tonight. I know you just finished oh, work. Yeah, I, know no, you, uh... I, I I've got all the time in the world. Oh, I'm, you're a beautiful I'm just having a chat with a friend. I don't know what you're talking about. If I could dig it. All right. Well, let me hit you with one. Uh, are you an FL Studio man or you're an Ableton brother? What's going on? 
Okay, so uh, I it's it's funny weighing in on this. I I have spent a little bit of time with FL Studio. Um, I'm not really that familiar with Ableton. I actually so I run Logic. Um, I I run Logic Pro X and oh. I. <laughs> Actually, for a long time, was a GarageBand user up until wow. probably two years ago. So a lot of um, a lot of early Wizard Hat music, even projects still that I'm releasing today, were um, beats and productions that I made uh, in GarageBand. And um, like what uh, the track I just released that you were talking about earlier, Nightlife, yeah. like that. I, I made that entire production in uh, GarageBand, mixed and mastered it. Um, I I think GarageBand gets a lot of flack for being like crappy and like uh, beginner stuff, but like um, basically GarageBand is like Logic Light, more or less. Okay. Um, and a lot of uh, like the. What, what what am I trying to say? A lot of the uh, like being able to map MIDI samples to a sampler and stuff like that. You can do all that stuff in GarageBand. You just have to like know where to go and stuff like that. And, yeah, right. Um, after watching enough, yeah, like, like doing all the production stuff. Um, I'm like largely a self-taught musician and producer. Um, mm-hmm. I picked up playing guitar when I was in like middle school just sort of like as a hobby and i was like in band class playing trombone at the time and holy shit ended up quitting playing. yeah i know right it's crazy uh, my, my, my journey as a musician has been really interesting um, yeah. but yeah i started off playing uh trombone and band and then my grandpa got me guitar when i was in like sixth grade i think it's it's still sitting over there actually hey there we go yeah no that's a relic um but uh yeah no i um i think so sort of weighing in on the like the debate about dolls and stuff like that (laughs) um, i i really just see uh the workstation as like tools Mm -hmm. um if I knew how to use Ableton better than I knew how to use Logic, I would probably use Ableton. If I knew how to use Fruity Loops better than I knew how to use any of the other ones, that's what I would use. Yep. Um, I actually, funny enough, I think the first program that I actually started making beats in, in like, like 2014... 2013 ish or something like that. I think the first program I actually started making beats in was uh, Traction. It's called Traction. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I I can't even remember who who makes that, but uh, a a friend of mine gave me gave me a copy like in his CD key and stuff. Um, a shout out uh, to Matthew Mazzoni. He uh, <laughs> he just released an album like last month of some really awesome like progressive jazz music you should check it out yeah all right matthew Bazzoni. Yeah, no, he he's a he's highfalutin he 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 went and got educated he went to uh i don't i can't remember what university is it uh, it's in uh kentucky like a pretty prestigious music school yeah right and he's now doing some cool jazz some oh smooth jazz yeah. He, yeah, no, he he's a very talented guy. He he's a he's a switchblade of a musician. He could probably do just about any kind of project you put him on. But yeah, he his uh, album that he released, he's uh, he's into jazz, and it's it's some pretty cool stuff. That's fucking sick. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Um, let me hit you another one. So you've you've obviously listened to a, a whole swathe of music. You you you're big into the music I- scene. You've been around for a long enough time to hear the classics, probably from way back when, up until oh, today's certainly. music, and you, you know I'm, what's going I'm, on. I'm also kind of a student of just music in general, so like, um, I'm I'm definitely like, regardless of what's popular contemporarily, like on the charts or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. I you know I do pay attention to popular music, but also being somebody that really is a student of the art of music i i like 
I, I tend to find myself sitting down to listen to stuff just because I've read about it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I, uh, I used to get um, Guitar World magazines when I was like a teenager for, I don't know, probably five or eight years. And every month I'd read them from cover to cover and read articles about bands and musicians that I'd never even listened to their music, but yeah. I know all kinds of random stuff about them because I love to read and I love music. So, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really into like, like, like jazz music and, uh, like hip hop, obviously, um, definitely into death metal sporting yep. death metal merch right now. Yep. Um, and you know, Considering that you can find recordings on the internet and actual studio produced bands of me playing in metal bands, it's probably obvious that I'm into a lot of different types of uh, metal and ex- and extreme music just in general. But um, I, I I'm I'm just uh, <clears throat> an appreciator of vibes, and um, I think there are songs in any genre that that are. Um, can appeal to someone at a certain point in time or in a certain context. Yeah. Um, oh, that's, I fucking dig that. Can I, well, yeah. then I'll, I'll ask you a, a follow up. Uh, what are your top three, like, albums? What, what would you say if you were to go, like, stranded on a desert island sort of shit? Desert island albums. I, I should have expected this to come <laughs> We do um, we do a segment on the podcast uh, called Album of the Week where we review an album like every week we do like a whole so we just listen to it for a week and this week we've listened oh, I to that. Uh, I, I would love to come be a guest on that oh segment dude because I yeah 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 um, no. three desert island albums uh, um it's a toughie man it's a toughie it is it's definitely a tough one um. If if I had to pick three Desert Island albums, I obviously I could pick three things that are just like immediate favorites that I can listen to a million times without getting tired of. Mm-hmm. But I, I want to be the cool guy and pick something that makes me look cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I three three Desert Island albums. Um, I'd probably take. Um, an easy choice just because it's something that I can listen to a million million times and not get tired of um, uh, Colors by Between the Barrett and Me um, okay. definitely something that uh, sort of e- even despite the fact that it's like an extreme metal album it sort of spans a lot of uh, feels and vibes and genres Yep. Yeah. Uh, not to mention that's like that album's like near and dear to my heart. Uh, mm, what fell. else? Mm, mm. I'd probably say uh, something by System of a Down because that's just like a favorite band of mine. It was very, uh, a very formative group in terms of like dictating my music taste. Probably a toss-up between um, toxicity and uh, what is? I can't remember what. I think it's the self-titled album with just the hand on the front. Oh, of it. yep, yeah, yeah, the so out. Oh, yeah. just some of my favorite music. Um, those those songs are pretty much the entirety of System of Down's discography is like embedded on my soul. A hundred percent the same, bro. <laughs> What else? Um, and then something that makes me look cool. <laughs> uh, no. Um, hmm. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I, I feel like I should get something that uh, covers some some more musical ground because I picked like a couple like rock and metal bands. Um, I would say probably... Um, the album uh, Pretty Hate Machine by Nine Inch Nails just because the the sort of 80s vibe mixed with like j- just the proto-industrial vibes of it it's yeah. it's it's another one that like I, I have listened to that album so many times mm. um, that it's 
it, it's it's like part of my DNA. Trent Reznor's voice just stuck in your head. Trent, unbelievable. Um, yeah. Uh, I yeah, I definitely am pretty hate machine. Although um, honorable mention and damn near what I would have picked is their album with teeth. Uh, that's that's a personal favorite. But pretty hate machine is sort of the one that I've really sat and spent more time with. Uh, I would say. No, that's fair. All right. Damn, well, my, we're coming. My pick make me seem like a like a '90s goth boy. <laughs> no, no, this little, is that's, little, that's perfect boy. Like, that's it's all it is is true colors, man. It's true colors. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Honestly, like some of my, uh, some of my like one of my earliest memories as a as a human is uh, playing um, Ninja Gaiden on Nintendo and uh, listening to Thunderkiss sixty five by White Zombie. Yeah, literally, like I can remember, like. You know those memes where it's like uh, where you gain sentience at the birthday party or whatever and you're five <laughs> years old or whatever? Yeah, yeah, basically like like one of my first moments that I can remember being a human being in this bitch mm -hmm. is like I was holding a Nintendo controller, looking at Ninja Gaiden on Nintendo and listening to the jin 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 <laughs> of the opening riff and just being like, this is fucking cool, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is my first individual thought. You're like, oh man, Dude, I fucking yeah. love this. Mm -hmm. This is I'm gonna yeah. base my whole life around this. <laughs> Core memory unlocked. Yeah, for sure. I that, that's funny because I, I look looking back on my life, I definitely could see in a lot of ways how my like personal style and uh, my musical taste is influenced by the crazy like sixties psycho billy sort of swag of uh white zombie and rob zombie stuff in general yeah. and uh it really just speaks a lot about my personality i would say oh uh, it's fucking sick well what i will say is i've got i had like really quick questions right at the end um yeah yeah they're, yeah. they're hey, like, like any, any questions you got they're, they're like I, I talked your ear off enough no no you're fine man you're fine um these are just like push 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 questions so uh, What's your favorite color? This is like My like color purple. Yeah. Purple. What's your favorite yeah. movie? Favorite movie. Oh shit! Ferris Bueller's <laughs> Day Off. Oh nice. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite genre of music to produce? Favorite genre of music to produce hip hop. Yeah, nice. Um, if you could visit anywhere in the world, where? Oh, uh, man. Um, I've always really wanted to visit uh, New York City. Really? Or, you live uh, in the uh, actually, you know what? I, I, my instinct was to say Japan, but I actually have dreamed about going to New York City since I was a child. That's crazy. Okay. Um, and what's your dream car? My dream car. Oh shit, man! Oh, you, uh, let's go. Honestly. Ooh, that is a tough one. Um, one of my favorite uh, toys as a kid was Hot Wheels, so I yeah, fucking bro. love cars. I'm not, I'm not like, I don't know anything about the inner workings or anything, but I love cars. Uh, shit. Um, '66 Mustang. Nice. All right, the muscle is the muscle about it. Yeah, 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 definitely into muscle cars. Yeah, I fucking dig that. Yeah, man. Well, it is the pointy end of the uh, interview. Um, the, the last thing I want to ask you is if, have you ever had a Vegemite sandwich? Have I ever? No. Um, and it's so funny that you bring that up because <laughs> I was talking in discord about knowing very little about Australian country, uh, culture, but I know what Vegemite is. I've just never had it. I'm going to send you I've, a little jar of Vegemite, good. man. Dude, I, hell yeah. Send me all the yeah. things. I'll send you some stuff back. I'm pretty sure I owe you some free merch, actually. Oh, shit. Yeah, all right. All right. We'll do it. We'll do a big swap. Yeah. I like that. Um, I, I, should be, I should be getting new uh, new Wizard Hat and new Tragedy Collective merch soon. Oh, that's sick. Um, so I'm going to try to send you, like, because I think I owe you a t-shirt, um, but I'm going to try to get you, like... <laughs> I think I'm going to do some vinyl wristbands and do some stickers and buttons as well. So oh, I'll send you a little swag bag. Man, uh, and one's coming your way with a whole heap of Australian goodies, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Random crap. Yeah, man. You're going to love it. Hell yeah. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, at the at the end of the show, oh, well, sorry, at the end of this interview, um, have you got anything that you'd like to plug? You got like what, what's going on, man? What's going on in your life? Um, first of all, I would like to say thank you for having me because it's been great. Uh, we'll have to do this again sometime. Hell yeah. um, but anything that I could plug, first of all, go follow uh, the Fuckbang YouTube channel, P H O C B A N G spells Fuckbang. Uh, also, you can find PBCU related content on the Wizard Hat YouTube channel, W Z R D spells Wizard Hat. Uh, I you can find Wizard Hat on Spotify, Apple Music, um, pretty much all major streaming platforms, SoundCloud, all that shit. Um, find me, follow me, check me out. You can tune in sometime and come game with us on Twitch. Um, yeah. We also occasionally do a little bit of jamming. Um, we do Music Mondays uh, every once in a while. That's uh, that's not as uh, regular on the schedule as gaming, but um, yeah. Uh, Find me on any and all social media and be sure to also check out uh, the boy. Go listen to some Switchblades for kids. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Too, you're too kind. Thank you. Um, that's I excellent. Man. Listen to your music today at work, actually. Oh, sick. Yeah, sweet. Cheers, yeah. man. Did you like it? You like you, the bit of the fun oh, trap? Oh, yeah, of course, man, of course. I, I'm telling you, you need to post some links. Uh, <laughs> you need to post that frog trap song in the uh, in the self promo channel. Yeah, man, I will do. I'll, I'll get straight on it. <laughs> you already know. You already know. Tragedy That's, collected worldwide. Yeah. Third That's... eye social phenomena. <laughs> Fuck yes, excellent. Um, thank you so much for being on the show, man. You're hey, a fucking thank legend. Thank you for having. And um, yeah, we'll definitely catch up soon. And there's going to be uh, swag packs going back and forth. You already know. You already know. <laughs> you can expect some cool stuff coming your way. Hell yeah, man. All right. Well, sweet. Um, well, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Hey, take it easy. Have a good night. <laughs> hey, Wicked fam. Sweet. And we're back. <laughs> Hello. Welcome we're back. back. That was we're such a good back. interview, wasn't it? Oh, amazing. Absolutely. I love that guy, Can't... Zach. Man, yeah, he's, like he's a cool guy. He, what Thank a cool you. guy. What a cool guy. I actually <laughs> I know. really like I actually really like his set. So for the audio listeners, you won't be able to see, but his um like his setup, it looks cool. Yeah. It's a cool looking yeah, yeah. setup. Stop right now and and then go to YouTube and then re- rewind and <laughs> listen to it all again. Yeah, no, you just, can see just, it. It's fine. Just skip skip into the interview part and have a look yeah. at it. And it's a cool setup. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And he was what saying cool before, before we started the interview as well, he's like, I set up all this moon, uh, mood lighting and stuff like that. He fucking, he loves like lighting. He's oh, got yeah. his whole creative space and stuff like that. He's got a cool couch. He's got this like DJ deck shit there, man. And it's so cool, man. He was, mm. he was, he was wrapped with it. And I fucking love it. Dig yeah, it. nice. One hundred percent. I'm, I'm, I'm wrapped that we had a guest on the show. hundred percent. We've, we've had it? one on before, Matthew. Um, I'm Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and with this is it. This now, now we can only go up from here. <laughs> That's it. We're going straight to the goddamn moon. Next, Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> I reckon. Honestly, I really do think we can either get eliminate or Bishu. I reckon we could get eliminate or Bishu. You reckon? Yeah, it's gonna be hard. It'll be a slog, but I reckon we can do it. Yeah, that's fun. It, it, if we just keep pestering him, just oh, say, look, "Hey, look, I man, mean, five minutes, five minutes." You know, time. it's consistency. If we if we did this for the next twenty years, at some point, surely we'll be getting someone on here that's worth. He'll something. be like he's younger than us. I think he's like twenty six or twenty seven or something like that. So that's not that much younger. No, it isn't that much younger. So he'll be a little bit younger than us, and we'll just say, "Hey, look, man, we're we're gonna die before you, and we need that interview." <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my make a wish. Understand how much? <laughs> <laughs> this is my make a wish as a fucking what nearly forty wow. year old man. Will t- t- I'm like, man, I'm I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Uh, I'm, <laughs> you I'm, just, <laughs> I don't think you understand. I have multiple children, and I'm and I'm getting old, and I'm gonna die. So yeah, you better get on our podcast because yeah. I swear to get God, you before, I'm, before either of us are gone. That's like, not a threat. That's not a. That's not a threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least not a direct oh, no. threat. It's not a threat. It's a promise. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> We're all gonna die. All right. Oh, no, I um, promise, <laughs> Blake. Uh, before we get too crazy, I think we mm. should. Uh, I think we should give back a little bit to our listeners, who oh. have uh, given to us in the form of voicemails. Oh. 
What do you think? I'm, I'm going to say that 99.9% .9 of these are our mates doing idiot things is what I'm going to say. But I really yeah. hope that they're not all that. I really hope that at so, least so one is a genuine from somebody <laughs> else. But I'm like 90% yeah. sure it's just going to be Lutz yeah. and Andy and Pat. <laughs> and that's it. it. It honestly, it just might be. And, and I'm a little bit concerned about it as well. But... We'll how, many, see. how many do we have? Are there many? Uh, look, let me let me have a geese. Uh, so that one's that one's me just doing the test message. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll just we'll play the test message just to make sure everyone can hear it. I'm gay. <laughs> so I'm, good. I'm, I'm certain everyone heard that. That's that's one of the, the classic it. catch lines that we love to uh, play we for each other. So we've we got one, the time. one there, two, three, four, five. Uh, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got eleven messages. Wait, so. I'm, I'm going to say that the one who sent multiple is Andy. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> well, let's we'll start. Fi let's, from... let's find out. Let's let's hit it. Hit us with the first one. Be before before we oh. before we start, uh, this is just another call to action, guys. Make sure you do uh, if if you want to be a part of this segment. Uh, yes. D d call the number. Call the yeah. number. That number again is. Oh wait, hold up. I, that's I was just about to fucking give someone else's number. Yeah, that's not. Don't don't <laughs> that read that. That's not number. what we want. Uh, the number is plus sixty one seven five six four one ten eighty. That number again is plus sixty one seven five six four one ten eighty. That number again is plus sixty one seven five six four one. 1080. So make sure you get onto that and you can you can just send us silly messages and it's it's fun. Or send us or like, ask please. us genuine questions, please. Genuine ask questions. us like a genuine question. Yes. yes. Or a suggestion for the album of the week. That would be great. Yeah. That is also good. Um, Even if it's just hey you guys should listen to this. Cool. Yeah, that's that's as what easy we need. as that. Uh that's US calls will uh, incur, I think it's like a, a 11 cent a minute or something like that. I don't oh, know why this one says yeah. 25 cent a minute, but I don't think it matters. Um, it yeah, we'll figure it out. It, it, you know what? It'll, it'll incur additional charges possibly. Yeah. Um, it is an Australian number. So yeah, jump on it. Without further ado, um, here is the Let's first, the first message. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I think someone. Someone bought This is just back. Yeah, this is like someone butt white dollars. This is just like fucking. Oh, I'm at a party and I've just I've just called it up. I was gonna say like, we're not gonna we're not gonna dox the number, but that's a weird number. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, three eight eight. Okay. Mate, no, that's still an Australian number. Yeah, it is still Australian. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pause that. That that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, whoever that was, that sucks. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. you know, I will dox the number. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a like a Chinese restaurant or something. Yeah, yeah. It sounded like someone just like at a like a maybe at, at like the dinner. boozer or something like that or at like yeah. a party. Yeah. Like, oh, God damn. Uh, let's let's roll straight into the I mean, next we one. I mean, we we asked for this, really. We, we yeah, one hundred percent. Especially yeah. when we put it in the Discord. By the yeah. way, join the Discord if you yes. haven't already. Um, yeah, and and you'll you'll see the people that we're talking about. Yeah, um, and it'll all make sense then. <laughs> <laughs> let's roll into the next one. Fuck off! If it's just silence, bro. Seriously. <laughs> What the, <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? It was that? just silence. Fuck. Me. All right. Okay. Look. <laughs> All right. No. Next. Not a good next. start. Not a good. A horrible start. In fact. Let's hear this one. So oh, far, dude. silence. Oh, dude. Still silence. Please. <laughs> Please. Still silence. <sighs> What the okay. hell? Okay, like, there isn't. Hello, welcome to the China. Take away. What can I get for you today? Hello. Hello. We got the dim sim school for free dollar. Hello. I'm pretty sure I know. Who Motherfucker. I think I really want to believe that's Andy. Oh, I don't think that's Andy. I think that's Brad, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Wow. Okay, okay, fucking, cool. Uh, yeah, I, I think we can keep that in. Um, yeah, it's not that bad. It's, it, it could be worse. Um, let's let's hear this one. Um, thank you. This is our to, podcast. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's hear this. 
Bon sens. Hey, it's, uh, it's Bob. Patrick told me your bikini bottoms is open for business, so uh, Rob's hand is live bird, man. Let me know if you want those crappy patties grilled. All right, SpongeBob out. What the fuck? All right, SpongeBob out. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, um, SpongeBob. <laughs> what, like, what did we expect? Really? I don't what know did we what expect? we expected. Honestly, um, you know, it's the first week. It'll get better. There's too many here. Whoever left no. these, this many messages. We're going to go through all of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're going right. to have to because right. we promised our listeners. Okay. If we get hundreds, <laughs> I'm not listening to all of them. Oh, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll have to start filtering. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking last. That's, that's, yeah. Hello, this is Sandeep calling from Tester. <laughs> Bro, uh, am I you speaking know it's to uh, Mr. Uh, Switch Blades for Kids? <laughs> Hello? This is Sandeep? Oh my god. <laughs> They're not bloody answering. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Fuck off. So oh. now that we know that this whole number this, this, series this is all lats. lats, yeah. Oh, God. So let's go now. <laughs> let's make our escape. Come on, let's go there. Let's have an escape. Get me me higher. Little, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's your boy. <laughs> what a cool. Hey, um, you guys like Creed? <laughs> um, I love Creed. Um, Creed for album of the week. Uh, uh, his little taste. How do we know? Not the bird train. Have to appreciate my rock ball streams. <laughs> 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 No, I've been sacrificed all this night. It's so long. Like the me, me at my I can't believe he's still going. <laughs> he's been the like, only <laughs> really <laughs> He's really been pumping it out. He's listened to a lot of Chris. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Take album of the week, please, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one suggestion for album of the week. Yeah. I back my, him. My face actually hurts from laughing. Yeah, bro. Hey, boys, what's <laughs> going on? It's your boy. Um, just back back at it again. Uh, fuck, do you guys like Creed? <laughs> I love Creed, man. All right, so here's a little I swear to God, lads. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> And I'm so sorry. <laughs> cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I need somebody in all ways. <laughs> this sick, strange darkness oh, oh comes creeping God, on dude. so hard every time. <laughs> and as I stare, I count <laughs> them. I, I only expected to get the worse. Spiders, oh catching things and eating their inside. Oh like indecision so, to call you. And hear the voice of trees on. Um, we'll come out with something <laughs> pain tonight. Stop this pain tonight. Don't waste your time on me. You're already a voice, voice inside my head. head. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. A little taste, man. I just love Creed. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, Creed for uh, album of the week. Yeah, I I just just love good Creed, call. Yeah. Good call. All right, there's Creed. one more. There's one it's Last, Last one. Please be short. It's not. Uh, <laughs> yo, uh, it's your boy. Um, <laughs> fuck. Uh, <laughs> this one's, uh, this question's for for Blake. <laughs> um, okay. What's, uh, <laughs> Blake, um, what's the, <laughs> what's the dog doing? <laughs> you know? Oh, fuck yeah. off. No, nah, just wanted to know what the, what the, what the dog doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, crazy for album of the week. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, bye. 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 All right. Oh, my God, You know what? Dude. You know what? 
All right, I we're we're, we're turning the phone number off. Holy <laughs> shit! I'm revoking the right for anyone to leave us a voice message. Um, we did this to ourselves. <laughs> we did. We really <laughs> we did. did this to ourselves. And you know what we've done? We've subjected our listeners to it as well. Yeah. Um, you know what? If we have to deal with this on a daily basis, you have to deal with this on a weekly yeah. basis. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We um, deal with this shit all day, every day. <laughs> it does this all day, every day. Let me just say. Um, oh, man, that's funny. Let me just that's say. really funny. Well done uh, to everyone that <sighs> did submit a voicemail, uh, even though one of them was just fucking silence. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, think, I think we can clearly see a trend, uh, in, especially one of the listeners. Um, <laughs> who, I'm, it, I think it, he likes your cream. boy. <laughs> it, he, he, I think he likes Creed. So um, uh, oh, man, we know exactly funny. who you are and that's we so will find you. Um, Creed, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll eventually have to do Creed. Um, there's been so oh, an, dude, 100%. an outcry. No, like I actually really do enjoy Creed. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Creed. Bro, too. Love are you kidding me? But as I, I said, I listened to Creed, Creed for the whole, whole God, start of the day fucking, today. It was great. I fucking love Creed, man. And you know what's <laughs> awesome is because they're a church band, I can listen to them at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh, yeah. It's all good. You could pump that. I can. Um, and I, and I, I actually have. Blake. Yeah. Speaking of music. Yeah. We listened to uh, Immersion by Pendulum all week this week. We did. I did. What are your thoughts? I want to know. I want to get inside your brain about I, this, um, this I album. Listened to, I listened to this album when it came out 13 years ago. Wow. Heaps. Fucking heaps. Yeah. I've already listened to this album many, many, many times. Okay. Um, I fucking love Pendulum. <laughs> I love <laughs> Pendulum, yes. dude. I can tell. Uh, it's almost as much as I love Creed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Dude, it, it, the island, part one and part two. Yeah. And also the remix from Skrillex. Those, those three songs in a line. Oh. Yep. Creme de la creme. So yep. good. So very good. And you know what? One that I forgot that existed. Uh, self versus self featuring In Flames. My God. How fucking oh, good is that? Oh, dude. Oh, I dude. forgot that song existed. And as soon as it did, it re existed in my brain. That was it's, my first time listening to it. Oh, dude. It's good, hey. And I was just like, oh, cool. I found a new, yep. like, a new thing to just play on repeat. Yep. So fucking good. Yep, it is so 100% fucking good. a repeat song. It's such a repeat song, man. There's, yeah. there's a few on here that are like really, like that are fucking repeat songs. So Watercolor, mm. I would call repeat song. Um, the Island Part 1, Part 2, 100%. Witchcraft, 100%. Yep. Fucking yep. Self versus Self. Mm, so good. So mm-hmm. very, very good. I actually really like Crush as well. I fucking vibe with Crush and Salt yeah. in the Wounds, the first the second song. One? Oh yeah, Genesis yeah. is like the intro, An intro. into yeah. Salt in the Wounds, and Salt in the Wounds is so fucking good. Mm. Um, and to be honest, there's no songs on this album that I would call a skip. No, I, I would. I would say actually, the exact same thing. Wouldn't actually skip a single. And I, yeah. I listen to this, right? Every time I listen to this album, I listened the whole way through into the songs that proceed after like the other random bands and shit that yep. start coming in and, and then I'm just listening to drum and bass at that point yeah I'm just yeah. listening to a random drum and bass podcast oh not podcast um, playlist like sorry. the yeah the playlist yeah the radio yeah and I it's fucking, I dig it I dig it's it it's so good dude I fucking love this it's a great album it is a great album um, I didn't write anything down but <laughs> I don't think I need to it's it's really good and for fucking didn't they come from um, Brisbane Pendulum uh, I believe so. Isn't it Rob Swire? An Australian Rob Swire's group Australian. based in the United Kingdom. Formed in Perth, sorry. Perth, were, there you go. They're Perth boys. Rob Swire is Australian. Mm. And uh, uh, Rob Swire's known for fucking ghosts and stuff playing with Dead yeah. Mouse. And he's done yeah. he's done a lot of tracks with Dead Mouse. And they're all fucking hits. Yeah. They're all straight up classic hits. Dude, I... 4KQ even, classic even to, hits. To the point where... Wow, well, take me back. Um, yeah. Even to the point where, bro, I, I got home today and I was like, I just sat down on the drums and I was just like, I'm just mm. going to play a little drum and bass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm going to play some drum and bass, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking, yeah. It's just the, it, there is something about drum and bass, like playing drum and bass on the drums <clears> that feels so nice. 
Mm. It's just, it's like this like weird technical, but not that hard to play thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's an arm and break that just sort of uh, has got a little bit twisted up and that, like there's, there's variations on the arm and break. That's that's what it is. And it's, it fucking works. This is the best album to introduce people to Pendulum. 100%. 110%. And it's also a really good album to introduce, like, if you're uh, interested in uh, music theory, I would say, mm. and sound design. Um, because there is... This This was like... This felt like near the dawning of, like... Not not drum and bass, because drum and bass has been around for fucking so long. Like, yeah. pretty much in the industrial and techno and the, the when all yeah, of that was starting way back there. Yeah, drum and bass has been around for a long time. Drum and bass has been there. Um, it's it's, the, it's the, the actual sound design that these guys used, and they made those whole crazy, like, the, the, the uh, what do you call them, those wubs and rars and mm. the whole vocalizer on a on a sub and, and, you know, and then granulizing it and fucking saturating the crap out of it and then turning it into like and, and automating it with a whole heap of different effects yeah creating this this like these these unimaginable sounds that make you do dumb mouth sounds like yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know but yep. that, that's that's what they can do they go oh you know what sound cool here you know they and, and it works it all works especially um island part two mm. oh. Fucking, mm. you know what? You know what's a real sleeper for me that I absolutely love is Immunize. Immunize yeah, yeah. with with Liam Hallett, yep, fantastic. Yep. And Comprachicos, I think that's how it's pronounced. Absolute sleepers on this track, and they they sound so fucking cool. Um, the whole album is so yeah. good, man. Yeah, the it whole is, album is a big win for me. It's a yeah, big win. I would agree. Yeah. Well, uh, what, and, are you, what are you going to rate it? Uh, or are you still you still got? No, I've got, I've got nothing more to say about this. Nah, like you, you pretty much nailed it on the head. I'm the exact same with it. Island Part One and Part Two. Uh, mm. I was I was <laughs> like the only one that I that you didn't say was Immunize because yeah, I yeah, fucking yeah. absolutely love Immunize. Um, but yeah, Crush. Um, even Set Me on Fire is really fucking cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, a hundred percent. All of these songs. I, the thing, the island. Wow. The thing that I love about the island as well is that it is literally just two takes, right? on the same like sample yeah essentially yeah. you know what i mean like that's essentially what it is it is yeah. one that's a bit more like you know beginner friendly if you mm. will mm. which is part one and then part two is just balls to the wall yeah and like you yeah. don't notice it going into part two and that's the best part how good is it how it's just seamless into because you're like oh cool it's just hitting back to that same riff and then it's Boom! Straight into our barrel. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, makes yeah. you make you do the fucking sounds. You do, do the, the sounds. do the silly mouth it, sounds. It yep. Makes you do the silly mouth sounds. I That's right. love it. Um, look, I'm I'm gonna be straight up. Mm, you're like this two is out a of ten. ten. <laughs> no, this is <laughs> like, a ten, bro. Yeah, this is I a agree. ten album. And, I agree. and you know what's you know what's fucking great is we've had like a couple of tens now just yeah. this year. Yeah. And it's and we are in the seventh month. Yeah, I know. We've had a we've had a few tens, man. How are we already fucking in July, honestly, bro? I know, right? I feel that like it was only scary. like last like uh, well a couple of weeks ago when I was like just starting at this new place, mm. you know. And but yeah, here same, we are. Same. I, I'm the same. But I'm like, didn't I just yeah. start my job in October last year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, God yeah, damn. I, I, I 100% read this. 10 out of 10. This agree. is a 10. Yeah. Yeah, it's, the it's Island so Part 1 and 2 have been in my playlist since 2010. Yeah. Um, I'm upset that I forgot to put um, the In Flames uh, feature in my playlist as well. it's in there now, It's in there now. Yeah. Fucking oath. Um, and, um, yeah, yeah, 10 out of 10. If you haven't heard Pendulum and you didn't listen to the album this week, listen to Pendulum. It's good. Hell Yes. Yeah. Um, look, now that we're done with one album, we're going to do what we forgot to do last week. Last week, which is announce the new album, and yeah. uh, it, it's it's quite a recent album. Obviously, yes. it's it's practically a month old at this point. Um, it's got a long name. <laughs> it's got a super long name, and I really want to read out the other one as well. Yeah, well, you, if um, you've got we had it a contest, open. we had a contest with it. So it was a so, contest. But don't say which one. Just say the two albums. The two. The, uh, sorry, the no, because the, I'll, I'll no, say the no, second. No, I'll no, say okay, the first one. no, no, I'll say the second list. one. 
So the one that we missed, we we thought we'll we'll come back to this one. Maybe uh, is <laughs> the name we, just we, got us. We, yeah, the name definitely got us. The uh, the name of the album that we're not going to be listening to is Petro Dragonic Apocalypse or Dawn of Eternal Night, an annihilation of planet Earth and the beginning of merciless damnation. It's so by dumb. King by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Um, so good, man. That band. We're is not wild. listening to that. We're, we're not, not listening, listening to, to that, them. But, but we just special mention for uh, the coolest yeah. album name. Coolest fucking album name, and it's yeah. it's like brand new as well. Uh, what we will be listening to this week is from Metro Boomin, mm. and uh, the album is called everyone get your pens paper write this down it's a big one i want you to listen carefully because you need to find this on spotify or whatever you stream on so that you can listen to this for a week the name of the album is called metro boomin presents spider-man across the spider-verse soundtrack from and inspired by the motion picture yes get that get that straight into you um i'm already excited honestly metro boomin man Dude, there's some there's some features, you know. ASAP Rocky is on here Sway a lot. Sway Lee, okay. Offset, Sway Lee. Lil Wayne, uh, Lil Wayne, yeah, no, J.I.D., Easy Bird, J.I.D., yeah. um, James Blake, Boogie with a hoodie, Wizkid, Don Tolliver. Yeah, dude, there's uh, twenty one, twenty one, and two chains, two chains, two oh, chains, uh, and, and Nas, Nas is on here as well. Yeah. That's a big one, man. He's been fucking in the Nas game Nas for so long. <laughs> yeah, Nas Morales, yeah. So <laughs> it is, so it is the uh, the. Obviously, the soundtrack from and inspired by the motion picture Spider Man Across yeah. the Spider Verse. So it's gonna. What we're gonna do? Some of the songs. Yeah, we were gonna watch the movie, but um. But I didn't it's still in cinemas, it. and yeah, we got kids. We're never yeah. going to the cinemas with kids. Um. So what we're gonna do it's is, hard. is we're gonna listen to the forty-seven minutes and ten seconds of this album, and we're gonna try and oh, piece together right. the movie from each song. We're only we're expecting the, the whole movie. Uh, which is Spider Man Across the Spider Verse to be forty seven minutes and ten seconds, right? Surely we just have to take that into it's account. Just this album, it, it's, it's just like has to be Discovery by Daft Punk, right? <laughs> exactly. Or Interstellar so, uh, five thousand, I think it was. Th- was that the that movie? Was the, that was the movie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna piece together what actually happens in the movie by listening to the soundtrack. Yeah. And, and guessing uh, what happens. We'll guess song by song. We'll be and like, I've oh, seen Annihilate. V- they're, very they're dying. Little. Everything's blowing up. Yep. Got to be. I've, um, I've seen very little in terms of like trailers and everything about um, this new Spider Verse movie. I keep seeing so, the cat, the spider cat. That's all I keep seeing. Didn't even know there was a spider cat. There's a spider cat. Cool. Yeah. I wonder if they rap about it. <laughs> well, I think that might be in track eight, Link Up. <laughs> That's, okay. Or, Is that because it's got Wizkid featuring Beam and Toyan? Toy in, yeah, maybe, maybe, but I was thinking link up, like oh, Spider Man's linking up with Spider Cat, and they're linking oh, up, and they're and Spider they're, Pig, Spider Pig, yeah, they're all linking up. <laughs> Isn't Spider Pig in the first one? No, Spider Pig's from Spider, uh, not Spider Man, The Simpsons. No, 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 but the there's movie. actually a pig. I'm sure there's actually a Spider Pig in the first movie. In what? Because the first Spider Man Sp- across, yeah, because it's not across the Spider Verse. I can't remember what the first one's called. Because this is the second movie in this. The Miles universe. Morales ones. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. The second. Because the first one's actually a really good movie. Harper mm. loves it. Mm. And it is about the Spider Verse. Yeah. 100%. Very cool. Love it. All right. This is this is where we wrap it up for you guys. Thank you guys yeah. um, so much for listening. And this is going to be a little bit longer of an episode. And it's going to be, be like, an episode. oh man, we they tried really we tried really hard to make it shorter, but you know us, we just can't. <laughs> but we did find that also when we create longer episodes, we get more views. Maybe there's something to it. Um, that's right. Go yeah. and tell your friends. Um, See, what we'll they've do? Done a, they've done it again. That's right. The boys have done it again. The boys did it. Uh, they did another, another long episode. Cracking episode. Yeah, yeah that's it. Um, so I guess we'll just wrap it up. You, you happy with that? Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you did like this episode, uh, make sure you check us out on all of our social platforms. Make sure that yes. you uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, rate, and follow. What well, There's heaps of other things. The notification bell. There's, yeah, there's heaps one. of stuff. Click all the buttons uh, and share it. Share it to your friends, family, people you hate, people you love. Um, yes. You can do all of that. You can even send it back to us and say, "Hey, man, this album sucked," or "This, <laughs> this, this whole what hey, are you dude, doing? You just, doing a podcast?" And, and if right. you've got, and if you want to give us this feedback, leave us a voice message. <laughs> leave us a voice message on. No, I don't have the number, but it'll be in the description, so you can it's look it up there. for yourself. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, look it up yourself, you fucking lazy hobo. <laughs> if you want to see more of Blake Bentley's beautiful face, um, make sure you check him out at Blake underscore Bentley TV on all of his uh, social Thanks. platforms. Uh, and I don't stream on see... Twitch anymore. You don't, don't stream on Twitch anymore, but that's that's fine because I think you moved to... Neither YouTube. does Trainwrecks TV and everything in his is still yeah. fucking Trainwrecks TV. So if that fucking guy can do it, I can do it. Exactly. Don't don't pigeonhole this man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you can I check mainly out. upload on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, TikTok. Check out his TikTok, Instagram and YouTube so that you can follow his gardening journey. Yeah. Um, and, I'm not, and not worried about fitness anymore. <laughs> It's it's sporadic I've, weight loss I've journey done at the it. moment. <laughs> I've done fitness. <laughs> you, you've done it. You, you did the thing. I've and completed he's done it. it. I've yeah. I've lost fifty odd kilos. I don't need to worry about it anymore. He's reached the end of his journey. The destination accomplished. The, uh, the, the destination was learning that I don't want to earn money and I don't want to have to earn money. So maybe, now I just want to live self sufficiently. Maybe the real journey was the friends we made along the way. Um, maybe no. No, it was all the, the weight lost and no, it's, the strength it's gained. No, being swole and lifting <laughs> being, heavy things. Being absolutely fucking jacked out of your yes. tits. Yes. <laughs> being jacked, right. stacked, and on the attack <laughs> is the destination. Girthy, ripped, juicy, fucking, yeah, oh. anyway. Um, fucking striated. <laughs> striated, yes, 100%. Um, Eric Bugenhagen, look him up. He's an absolute oh, beast. Dude, boost. Um, so good. Love that if man. You, if you want to see we more need him on the me, board, honestly. Dude, if I, if I could snag that dude. A hundred percent, I would. He's a WWE superstar. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bro, if I could, I would. That's the goal. We'll get Boogs on here one day. We'll get we'll get Sticky Ricky on here. I reckon. Yeah, we'll get Sticky Ricky on. We, oh, I reckon yeah. I could. You know, I'll send him a message. Fuck it. Who cares? I'll send him. Yeah. Um, Ask for uh, three to seven minutes of his time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, if it worked on Wizard Hat, it'll work on him. Guys, we got him. We tricked him into the interview. <laughs> <laughs> it went for longer than three to seven minutes. <laughs> it went for like fucking ten times that. It was fucking yeah. great. Well um, if you want to see more of me, my name's Switchblades for Kids. All one word. Um, all you can check word. me out uh, on all of my socials. Yeah, I post. And... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, I'm active. <laughs> All your <laughs> listeners can't see me shaking my head. No. Um, and you can also check me out on Spotify uh, under the exact same handle, Switch Plays for Kids. Um, yeah. The album of the week is going to be uh, the the. Metro the Boomer Spider-Man presents one. the Spider Man Enters the Spider Verse album. It's, it's all those cool tracks. Um, Make sure you jump into the Discord because that would be yes. super cool. It is just called the prod dot. If you're if you're trying to scan through it on the actual server discovery tool, prod dot, you will find us. Uh, and make sure Please. you use the voicemail message to uh, give us a message. And uh, what is it? Uh, suggestions for the album of the week. Um, guys, yeah. once again, thank you so much for listening. Uh, you're absolutely beautiful. I hope you have a great day or night um, and rest of or your morning. life if we never see you again. <laughs> Oh, dude, no. just quickly, I said that. So we, we there was a farewell thing today yeah. for someone, right? And I went up to them and was like, realistically, we'll never meet again. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the absolute grim reaper in you just kind of like, we're never going to see you again. <laughs> no, just, but You'll never I am. see they're, me again. Dude, they're like going overseas to travel for like a few months and then they're moving yep. to another state. Oh. I'm like, look, realistically... We'll never meet again. I was like, in the off chance we do, I'd, I'd love to see you again. Uh, I've probably already forgotten your face. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like give me give me six months and I won't remember who you are. <laughs> That's right. That's just the industry we're in at the moment. Hey man, it's just it's life, bud. That's right. I don't I don't want to have to remember a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I've got a whole, have to lot, remember. whole lot of other crap up here. Yeah, I mean, I just want to chill in my own house and grow my own vegetables. You know. That's right. That's right. Yep. And make a podcast with me best mate. That's <laughs> it. I'm good. If I can make money yeah. from this, I'm happy. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, 110%. Yeah, uh, uh, guys, we've done all the things. We've we definitely did. Stuff. Oh, we're we putting a song at the end of this one too? 100%. And it's actually starting right now. Guys, thank you so much oh. for listening. We'll see you next Thursday. Oh, was I meant to say something? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs>